So welcome to Australia. We are the land of the free down here. No coercion whatsoever. Not whatsoever. The vax works so good at building immunity. It's immune from iatrogenic lawsuits. Have a problem? Can't work? No, it's okay, mate. We got your back. <coughs> Not. This is Sarah Gigante. You've maybe seen Sarah Gigante in one of my videos. I think it's called, Is She the Fastest Climber Ever? And yeah, she's one of the fastest climbers ever in the world for female riders. Absolute pump on it here in January, Adelaide this year. Unfortunately, though, she's had a heart issue. Was Rush the hot... If they've got any of this wrong, let me know. Rush, this is on cyclingnews.com. Sarah Gigante on path to recovery after chest pain diagnosed as myopericarditis. And she's 21. 21. She is young. And she is very slim. She's not, you know, a 400-pound bacon lover. Cheeseburger person, you know what I mean? Um, so, yeah. So, Sarah Gigante, very unfortunate. This really, really irks me, you know, for various reasons. But we can't even talk about it, can we? Um, if you've noticed enough that my channel already, all my channels pretty much across the platforms have been extensively shadow banned, try and tag me in some Instagram, ain't going to happen. Um, I've got over 200k subs here and some of my videos get like 800 views. About 1.6% of my audience get notifications. That's based on the analytics that I've got access to. So it's pretty crazy what's going on in the world out there. It's like we're in 1984. It's crazy. I don't believe in conspiracy stuff. I believe in what we see. Anyway. So, um, again, you can't talk too much about it, can you, though? You know? So, yeah, she, so she s suffered severe chest pains and repeated, hos repeated hospitalizations. Now... This is what we, you know, this is what you have to understand about these professional cyclists, all right? They don't want, they can, their, their pain tolerance is next level, all right? And as a pro cyclist, your heart is everything, pretty much. Not everything, but it's, it's most things. Your heart's the foundation of your fitness. So if you have any heart issues, your teams, see you later. We don't want to deal with that. Sporting federations? No, 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 no. We don't have we we don't want to have a heart attack at the Olympics. This person is not going to the Olympics ever again. This is this is fact. I'd be very, very, very surprised um, if they selected her for any big races or the Olympics. I'd be very, very, very surprised. Which is super unfortunate because all she did is follow the recommendations, the medical recommendations. She followed them like a good citizen, and this is what's happened. And where's the compensation? Where's the, you know, who's responsible? Bye-bye, sorry, have a nice day, shut the door in your face, see you later, best of luck with everything. You took my advice and this will happen to you? I'm, I'm busy, I've got to, go to an, uh, got to go to an interview with Gladys. Sorry, love, can't talk to you. It's, it's an absolute joke, man, absolute joke. Uh, well, her team, she signed with Movistar, you know, I mean, female pro cyclists earn pittance. Like, Natasha earns more than 99% of professional women cyclists. Natasha does on social media. You know what I mean? Just riding around, a bit of Strava, a bit of Insta, a bit of TikTok, a bit of YouTube. She earns more money from collabs and coaching and money, you know, YouTube stuff than any 99% you know, of professional women cyclists and, and more more than a lot of men cyclists as well. Um, this video, this picture here, you can see is, uh, Sarah, please cut down that steerer that's uh, sticking out there. That's, uh, unless you're going to run in a, a deep... That's an issue. <laughs> there should be a, a, an immun immunization against this, the stem extension on the top there if we're going to make a joke about this unfortunate situation. That's crazy. Very, very sad. Sarah's a very approachable girl. Good for the sport. Loves to ride. Growing up on the bike, pretty much. I think she was... <laughs> some of mum gave birth to Sarah on the bike, apparently. But that's what you'd think by how well she does ride and handles a bike, you know. Um just a star rider, you know, I, I would say, I don't think I've ever met, I've, I've known a lot of female cyclists the last 20-something years, and I've never met anyone like Sarah in terms of potential, you know, skill set as well, race sense and, and fitness and stuff like that, and just desire to keep going, but only still young, a lot of, a lot of ways to go, but for me, this is it, almost, I mean, I don't want to be negative like that, was it negative, it's been real, like, in my opinion, like, this is serious stuff, man. This is serious stuff. I would be very surprised if any team really supports from here on in. 
Because as a professional athlete, you are nothing but a disposable pawn. As a professional athlete, that's all, that's all the brands see you as. You get bastard, you get sick, you get this, you get that. Oh, thanks, but we've got a business to do, so bye-bye. You know. So it's very, very professional out there. Very, very cutthroat, very, very fake, very, very, how you doing today? Good, see you later tomorrow sort of thing. It's like, what can you do for me? It's very, very cutthroat, and this is what I really dislike about um, professional sports in general. You know, and this is where, I get it, it's the money world we live in, it's a cutthroat world, man. You've got 30,000 kids dying every day from starvation around the world, and we, we focus on the bat soup fever. It's just in, absolute insanity. But again, we can't have too much about it, can we? It's You know what I mean? I, I just, yeah. It's, it's very frustrating. I feel frustrated. And I live, I'm living the perfect life. I live in the dream life here. Absolutely living the dream life. And I really feel for people out there who are you know, following these recommendations and suffering massive consequences. It's, it's just, I don't know what to say. Maybe I said already too much. We wish Sarah the best of recovery. Um, you know. And when I saw her on the e-bike, I was like, something's wrong with a pulmonary system. Something's wrong there, you know. Something's wrong. And, uh, yeah, it's just absolutely disgusting. And also with cycling news and cycling tips, they they just leave the reader going, wow, maybe she's using drugs. Maybe she got a heart condition from using EPO and anabolics and, you know, excess stims. Maybe she, you know what I mean? There wasn't any, like, hey, guys, like, you know, this is what the person did. They followed the 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 the, 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 the mandates, all that other stuff, and this is what happened. There wasn't any of that discussion. It was like, wow, this this rider's got peri- myopericarditis in a twenty one year old female. You know, which is really common. Not, you know, I don't know if it's common this year, unfortunately. You know, like these these, these websites, man. Cycling news, cycling tips, just like yeah, you know. We just, we just, they don't even care, man. They just like, give us stories, give us content, put it up there. There's no like, discussion or whatever. They're deleting comments of certain, have a certain narrative. It's just really disgusting. It's absolutely deplorable. Far out, man. This really, yeah. This irks a lot of people, myself included. And just, so guys, girls, get it, go out there, get your jabs, get your fully jab, double jab, booster jab, boost juice, get on it, mate. Listen, your government cares for you, they're going to look after you, anything goes wrong, we got your back, just do your bit for society, roll up, roll up, jab it up, and good to go, mate. She'll be right, Cobber, fair dinkum, welcome to Australia, mate, the land of the free, love it.